red. Please ban a hero. Please pick a hero. A glorious victory. If I'm not mistaken, in one of the recent updates, they patched the win rate notification during the draft and it no longer includes the classic win rates. And yes, I'm sick again. But apparently it seems like some players are not aware of that and I still think they're included, just like our S2. Ready. Give me a target. Anyway, after the enemy's composition, which is packed with one-shot heroes, I decided to go with a thick hero so I can survive their one-shot combo. I like that our Hylos is using his early game strength and playing quite aggressively. There are a few tanks that are extremely annoying for solo junglers, such as Hilda, Masha, and Hylos. They can easily bully the jungler if the team doesn't have a good early game draft. It would have been even better if we play extra aggressive here and actually invade their buff, but it's okay, I can still do it myself. With this kind of opening, it's gonna be tough to come back from this, as long as we don't make tons of mistakes. Start by taking action. Enemy has been slain. All we gotta do now is continue with the pressure and not allow them to farm comfortably. Whenever it's possible, try to steal the enemy's jungle's camp. Not only you will get more fed, but you're also delaying the enemy's jungler farm. We shall end the shadow rain. Bell is probably hiding in the bush, trying to catch our marksman by surprise. But let's counter his surprise with our own surprise. Wrong way, buddy. I'm gonna wait until Hylos get a bit closer before engaging them. A quick tip, if you're the tank and still quite healthy, just keep taking the turret shot for a bit so your team's DPS can finish off the target quite easily. Fate. 
When you play a hero that is really hard to kill but can still inflict a lot of damage, you can play extremely aggressively and still get away quite easily. Absolutely no fear at all. There's a good reason why I made this hero so thick. Even the super deadly mage Julian cannot do much in this match. I know that Kai still has his ult, so I will just pretend to go in, but without fully committing. Oof, if only I was using the old full magic damage build, this probably would have been a maniac. If they were viewers, they would have known that ideally we should just leave this turtle alone and let the lord spawn instead. But it is what it is. Always gotta position myself on the left side of Akai so he cannot push me with his ult towards his teammates. That will probably be the only way I could die at this point. Not by fate. We are your farming kills now. Akai almost saved me with his ult. Thank you.